Yeah. Go small on the gift. This is your go big opportunity. And at Morgan Jewelers, we make it possible with our magical in-house financing. If you've got a job, then we'll say, yes, you can give her an eye-popping half-carat Flashpoint created diamond in each ear for just $95 a month. This Valentine's, you will be the hero. Go to morganjewelers.com. There's no greater place to get away from it all than the great outdoors. Make this the year to create memories exploring wide open spaces in a spacious RV or speeding over glassy water in the boat of your dreams. Golden West Credit Union makes it all possible with an RV or boat loan as low as 4.99% APR fix with no payments for 90 days, plus your choice of a national or state parks pass when you sign. Apply now at GWCU.org. We'll take care of you. In Utah, there's a sense of we're all in this together. It's a philosophy of caring for others. From helping a stranger with their flat tire to welcoming a new family to the neighborhood. At University of Utah Health, we take care of Utah like Utahns take care of each other. Maybe that's why University of Utah Health is the most trusted healthcare in the state. There's only one you. Be treated that way. Learn more at uofuhealth.org. Forecasts are predicting a harsh winter this year. Consider eliminating cold spots from your home with the Carrier Ductless System. As the name suggests, ductless systems give you control of your home's comfort without invasive ductwork, focusing on those hard-to-reach spaces that need it most. Don't let harsh winter weather push you around in your own home. Bring home versatile and efficient heating that's easier to install than standard ducted systems. Carrier Ductless. Visit Carrier.com for more. Carrier. Turn to the experts. Do you have interior painting on your to-do list? Did you know that this is the best time of year to have interior painting done? Do you not know who to turn to? Call the Utah Jazz official partner, Serta Pro Painters, today. They will deliver the same level of service and professionalism to you. Serta Pro Painters are not only the biggest, they are also the best. Call 1-800-GO-CERTA or Google Serta Pro Painters. That's Serta with a C. Let Serta Pro Painters take care of all your painting needs, whether interior or exterior. Serta Pro Painters, we do painting, you do life. It's my honor to announce the 2023 All-Star Game will take place here in Salt Lake City. The NBA's biggest show is coming to Utah, and we're getting ready. Our 2023 All-Star Celebration is proudly supported by the members of the Salt Lake All-Star Alliance, America First Credit Union, Coca-Cola, your local Ford dealerships, New Skin, Larry H. Miller dealerships, Mountain America Credit Union, Qualtrics, Toyota, University of Utah Health, Vivint, WCF Insurance, and Zions Bank. Jazz game night post game show here on the Jazz Radio Network. Jake Scott, Coach Tim Lacombe with you. Jazz win 117 105 over the Detroit Pistons. Post game brought to you by Mark Miller Subaru, Utah's only negotiation free Subaru retailer. Learn more at markmillersubaru.com. I want to get to this. Uh, let's get to the master of the glass, shall we, Tim? Bum, bum, bum. Brought to you by Safe Light Auto Glass, the local vehicle glass expert, here for another great year of basketball and proud to be the preferred auto glass partner of the Utah Jazz. Safe Light is also proud to present this year's Master of the Glass rebound program. At the end of the regular season, Safe Light will donate $5 for each rebound secured by this year's team rebound leader. And for the first time this season, Rudy Gobert is not your master of the glass. It is Royce O'Neal who had a monster night on the boards tonight. 13 rebounds for Royce. Uh, he had a double-double, 12 points, 13 boards. Royce also had three assists, three steals, and a very nice block to go along with it. And uh, Royce Royce really played well tonight. How good is this guy playing? You know, it's uh, it's amazing. We talked about him at the half a little bit. But, you know, he's just been absolutely perfect in the role the Jazz have had for him. Um, you know, does everything he can against whatever matchup. He's shooting, you know, a great percentage from the field, uh, 48%. Is he still at 48, Jake? Uh, let me double check here. Give me one Sorry. second. And, and he's, uh, yeah, he's 40. He is 46.8% right now. So uh, shooting the ball well and... And you love to see this, too, because he rebounds. He's up there every single night. I think one night he tied Rudy with eight. Uh, but tonight he gets master of the glass. And congrats to Royce because that's, uh, you know, he does. He, and I think you made this comment. 
Royce is great because he does all the stuff that nobody else really wants to do and does it really well. Yeah, right. And I think every player needs, or every player, every team needs that player to a to a certain extent. And Royce is that guy for the Jazz. And if that guy can shoot 46.8% from three, that guy's going to have a bunch of value. I mean, there were there were times uh, where Detroit uh, simply didn't guard Royce, and it can't be because they don't read the scouting report because, I mean, they've got to highlight that 46.8, but they just you can't cover everybody. And let's face it, Blake Griffin doesn't have the enthusiasm in closing out as much as he used to, and Royce is going to make another team pay for that. And, I, and the thing I like, too, is if there's a scouting report, which there is, he's the fifth guy on it. I guarantee it every night. They, they get to Royce as an afterthought. And he's almost used that against teams in the first quarter. He's come out. He's almost become this, like, first-quarter phenom. Uh, I remember last week, can't remember the game, but he had three threes in the first half. Um, and tonight, you know, he made uh, two early ones as well just to get, help the Jazz get off to a good start. That never that never hurts you when a guy who is projected fifth on the scouting report comes out and stings you early. Boyan Bogdanovich uh, made two big shots to seal this one for the Utah Jazz in the fourth quarter, and he is now sitting down with the media. Let's go ahead and hear from Boyan. All right, we'll get started with Eric Walden, Salt Lake Tribune. Hey, Boyan. So obviously uh, the game got a little bit closer than you guys probably expected at the end there. Um, how did you feel on those last two three-pointers that you took? Did they feel good immediately to you? Did, did you think they were going in right away? Uh, yeah, I saw them in actually. Even the even the last one that I that I missed. I mean, we we stopped to run last last 15 minutes of the game, and uh, then we gave gave them a lot of a lot of easy easy offensive offensive boards and and a putback. But overall, I think that it's good performance from uh, from our side and and also important win after after that one yeah, that they lost in in Denver. Tony Jones, The Athletic. Boyan, well, yeah, big picture for you guys. You um, you guys have a really, you know, competitive schedule in February. Um, you know, what are your thoughts on, you know, just seeing so many really good teams uh, over the span of this month, and, and how do you guys approach it as a team? I think that is that is good for us to face all those great teams now in 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 February because we are in a, we are in great shape we are playing good basketball we are defending well so I think that is the right time for us to to play to play all of them it's tough schedule we got a lot of a lot of great teams from the, from the east coming here and 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 we got a this road trip in front of us but like I say we are in great shape and it's it's good timing for us to to play all of them Sarah Todd does right news. Boyan, in the second quarter, there was a play where you passed the ball to Donovan like right underneath the basket, and it was a really tight pass. And it kind of looked like both of you were a little surprised that you actually got the pass off and that it worked out. Do you know the play that I'm talking about and kind of what was going on there? Uh, I forget what was the, was the play, actually, but... Uh, but it, Overall, we shared a pretty, pretty well basketball in the, in the first half. In the second half, we kind of start to play more, more one on one. We start to isolate some some people and 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 then try to attack them. But uh, that's how they get back in the game. So I think that that we should we should play we should play fast and and and, and run, especially when they play with two bigs. But I forget what's the play act actually. So. David James, KUTV. Boyan, well, you know, you've been shooting the ball really well here the last three games. You had your struggles. What what's what's turned it around for you? I mean, not much. I think that my my confidence is a little bit a little bit better right now. I got a uh, got more shots, more threes last last couple of games. So there's no there's no big big change for me. I just have to be have to be ready and shooting no matter no matter what percentage I'm shooting. That's it. Thanks, Boyan. All right, there you go. Boyan Bogdanovich. Uh nice game uh tonight for Bogdanovich. Eighteen points on five of twelve shooting, but was four of eight from three, three rebounds, three assists and a steal. That uh the assist that uh, Sarah was asking about was the one we were alluding to earlier where <laughs> she put it as he and Donovan were both surprised. That's 
that's probably a bit true. But uh, Bogdanovich right there saying he is playing with more confidence, and you can tell. No, he he. we saw him go through a bunch of different things on his wrist to wearing you know, a brace to no brace to tape. And you know, I think what, we, what we're seeing now is he's starting to feel comfortable. I got a little nervous. He got hit in that hand yeah. uh, during the game, but shook it off and played well. Um, I think we've said all along this is, you know, this is a rough spot for Bojan, and, and he'll come back uh, because that's what his career numbers say he'll do, and, and he's done that. And it was great to see him have some confidence. All right, let's get back to the media room. Mike Conley addressing the media. All right, we'll tread water here for a, for a second. Mike is sitting down. We're just, I don't know, maybe snuggling in. I'm looking at Alex across the glass over there. Is Mike just getting comfy? He's just like, oh, this chair <laughs> feels know, good. This is nice. To, all right. Back, back, Kenny, back, Joss, TV. Hey, Mike, what did a game like this one show you down the stretch tonight? Um, you know, I think it, it's, it shows a little bit of growth in this in this area where we've we've had games where we've been up on teams and in, in the past and have, have let the lead slip. And then for whatever reason in the past, in the last minute and a half, we, we don't execute or, or do the things defensively to win the game. And tonight, um, it showed our resiliency uh, from different guys. It wasn't just one guy doing it. Uh, Bogey, Bogey came in big and, you know, with those last you know couple of buckets and, um, and Royce finishing the game with the dunk and stuff like that. Um, those are big plays made by, you know, everybody on the team. Tony Jones, The Athletic. Mike, you know, just in relation to the schedule for you guys in February, do you guys look at this stre- this upcoming stretch as a, as a chance to prove yourselves as a grand- on a grander scale, or do you look at it differently? Well, I think um, for us, we've, I think a, a thing that's helped our success so far is we've just taken, taken it game by game. You know, we're not really worried about the schedule or how strong or weak or who our opponent is the next night back to backs. Uh, we're just going in on that night, trying to play our basketball and trying to do what we do best. And, and if it's enough, we'll win, you know, we'll win these games against, against the good team. So um, as long as we go out and execute the way we know we can, and um, you know, obviously we want to play well, we want to do well against the good teams, but you know, just taking it one by one is, is, is the way to go. Eric Walden, Salt Lake Tribune. Hey, Mike, how do you kind of balance, you know, the first three quarters where you played well and you led by as many as 28 against the fourth quarter where, you know, the isolate where transition kind of devolved into isolation? How do you balance like kind of all of that against, you know, the end result of you coming away with, you know, a victory, especially, you know, following the, the Denver result the other night? Yeah. Um, you know, in games like this, it's 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 tough. You know, I, I think it's you take for granted how hard it is to sustain leads in this league. You know, to be up 28, you want to push it to 40 and 50, but it just doesn't happen. Um, these teams play with pride and and they play free. And um, and tonight, you know, we let them back in the game, and 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 you know, as a result, I think we start to slow down. Um, we start to you know get into positions where we just want to you know take care of the ball. We want to iso a little bit more. We want to just get get to our spots. Um, so, I mean, it, there's times for that. Um, I think it, in, in games like this, when you have big leads, we have to continue to, to play fast, continue to move the ball and continue to get stops like we were doing and not solely rely and, and kind of revert to, um, getting the ball in Don's hands or my hands or anybody's hands just to, you know, create opportunities. David James, KUTV. You know, Mike, I think everybody anticipated that they were going to make a run at some point, but was there what point did you really get nervous about it? You know, in, in the teens or single digits? When when did you really feel the urgency? I think when it when it got to uh, you know the teens, when it was 10, 13 points, I think you know that's when games can swing really easily, and um, that's just a wide open miss three in the corner. They get the ball, go down, and get a three in the corner on their end. So. And that can swing the game immediately. So uh, I think we were all very urgent at that time. And, 
try to be as locked in as possible to try to, you know, squeak this one out because we knew that they were they were, you know, coming back at us pretty tough and um and, and hitting a lot of good shots. So uh, for us we just wanted to execute at that point and, and we just really um push that message out to everybody, just close the game out. Last question, follow up from Chris and Kenny. Uh, you mentioned Royce a little bit, Mike, but just what is he doing now this season? I mean, tonight looked at the double-double. It just seems he's more aggressive on both <laughs> ends of the floor. Oh, uh, man, he's just, he's opening up his game. I think he's uh, expanding it as he as he grows as a player um, within the system of the team. You know, he's, a, he's developed his outside shot to where uh, teams have to close out hard on him, and, and because of that, he's developed a, uh, a way to make plays, you know, driving the ball and throwing lobs and making plays um, for guys in the corners and just all the energy plays, the offensive rebounds um, and his defensive activity is what, you know, he's known for already. So he's just been, you know, kind of growing as a player right in front of our eyes. And um, he's a huge piece to why we are, you know, where we are right now. All right. That's it. Thanks, Mike. Mike Conley uh, right there tonight for the Jazz. Mike had uh, 20 points on 7 of 15, shooting 2 of 6 from 3, had 5 assists, a steal, and 4 rebounds. And uh, Mike, you know, he's just solid for this club. There's no doubt. Yeah, he, he made a, a couple big threes there uh, in the second half. Uh, one, you know, they went under screen uh, during the comeback, and he was able to hit that three, come, you know, as they went under. Um, and then he just facilitates so many great plays, just uh, – always has his head up and, and seems to make the right basketball play. And he always, I mean, you can tell in his interviews, he's, he's just got that strong will. You can, you can automatic. I mean, it's, it's almost instantaneous. You can see why he's a good leader and why he's so popular with all of his, his teammates. And it's kind of strange. We're talking about a game where Mike had a minus nine tonight because his plus minus has, has been so very good. But, uh, you know, he got to 20. Locke was tweeting out some stats about how he didn't have too many 20 point games last year for this team. And it seems, you know, like it's, it's the regular occurrence and he's so important to what this jazz team is doing. Yeah, and that that's you know that's helped him take the next step. You can you can withstand Bojan having a tough night, or or Donovan having a tough night with Mike playing and Rudy playing you know as good as they've consistently played. Um, that's what a team's all about, and guys share the burden. What what's real about this Jazz team this year is you know there's so many places they can go with the ball to run offense and. The best part about it is this transition game doesn't require any. Anybody can bring it, and they're they're very unselfish and find find the right guy. Go where love takes you in the all new, completely redesigned 2021 Subaru Outback. Available now. Mark Miller Subaru, the official Subaru partner of the Utah Jazz. Learn more at markmillersubaru.com. One seventeen one hundred five is your final. We get you more player sound coming up next. You're on the Jazz Radio Network. Inspired by the West, clean, crisp, and sparkling, containing only what you want and nothing you don't. That was Uinta Brewing's approach in crafting our latest innovation, Westwater Hard Seltzer. Born of natural ingredients and infused with natural fruit flavors, each 12-ounce serving contains only 100 calories, 2.5 grams of carbs, and still checks in at 5% ABV. Westwater Hard Seltzer. Let the good times flow. America First Credit Union was founded with the dream of helping our members pursue theirs. So no matter what your goals are, how impossible your hopes seem, how out of reach your wishes feel, together we'll craft a plan to help you realize them. That's what being a member is all about. Because the most important dreams are yours, truly. Federally insured by NCUA. He pulls back, shoots, and nothing but net. A quality education can help you score big in your career. The Utah Jazz want to help jazz fans achieve their education goals, so they've partnered with WGU to give away four one-year scholarships to help busy working professionals earn their bachelor's or master's degree online in teaching, nursing, business, or IT. If you're ready to take your game to the next level and earn a respected degree that's affordable and flexible, then enter to win at mba.com forward slash jazz forward slash WGU. 
Whether your car has small tires, big tires, tires that go fast, tires with extra grip, or tires that just get you from here to there, they can be an unexpected expense. Don't wait any longer. At Big O Tires, we have no credit needed financing available. So no matter your budget, no matter your situation, we have the lowest prices on every kind of tire, every day. With multiple lending partners, our financing is tailored to you. Don't wait another day. Take advantage of our no credit needed financing only at Big O Tires. Dear winner, we're not